Andrew Maria, well, right behind me is where those stray pets that have been found are brought to the San Diego Humane Society to hopefully be reunited with their owner. The Humane Society says today and the next few days are the busiest days of the entire year for the Humane Society. You can hear some of the dogs there barking in the background. Now, just as of today, so in about six hours since they've been open today, they've already been receiving 87 stray pets brought here to be reunited. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Wait. Samuel Trope was one of dozens of people across San Diego who helped save someone else's pet after most animals' least favorite holiday. I found this cute little guy right here. He was, uh, I want to say he was running away from the fireworks. Trope says he found this dog running near traffic by a marina apartment complex. I'm glad I did. He's a, a little adorable love bug, honestly. He kept his new furry friend company while the fireworks went off Monday and then brought the dog to the San Diego Humane Society Tuesday to wait for his owners. I just want him to be at home so he can be with his family, be loved again, and just get back to his normal way of living. What part of town were you found in, little puppy? He's very tiny and looks like Looked like a stray kitten, and I really didn't want to leave him on the street, especially with all the fireworks happening. So we took him home, and um, we're going to bring him here to uh, hopefully somebody can adopt him. The San Diego Humane Society is expecting to get about 100 more stories just like those as people bring in lost pets who likely ran away because of fireworks. Somebody's probably looking for it. Last year, the three days following the 4th of July, we took in 270 stray pets. And actually, only 28% of those were reclaimed by their owners, so a lot of them end up staying with us. Nina Thompson with the Humane Society says space is limited at the shelter as their San Diego campus undergoes renovations. They're asking the public to help find and reunite pets and post pictures online before bringing them in. The best thing for the animal and the owner would be if you could skip a trip to the shelter. It would also be better for the animals in our care because it would limit the numbers. Hopefully somebody will come and get you. Yeah. And we have seen just a few of those sweet moments of pets being reunited with their owners this afternoon. Of course, the Humane Society is hoping that more of those do keep happening. They are open just a little bit longer here today. But if you are missing your pet, the Humane Society does post photos of them online. So you can always check the Humane Society's website. Live in Linda Vista, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News. All right, Zara, thank you for that.